the characteristic proboscis of Otto is present at the anterior, attached to the trunk of the animal, preceded by the bursa at the posterior. The organism's body is bilaterally symmetrical, however, its anterior displays external radial symmetry. It was a burrower that hunted prey with its eversible proboscis. Haplophrentis was a filter feeder, using its lofer for to extract organic matter from passing seawater. Specimens of Haplophrentis have been found in the gut of the predator Rotoa. The soft anatomy of Haplophrentis was key to establishing the hyaliths as members of the Lophiferata. Onychophas are considered close relatives of the Arthropoda and Tardigrida. This makes them of paleontological interest, as they can help reconstruct the ancestral arthropod. In modern zoology, they are particularly renowned for their curious mating behavior and for bearing live young. They are segmented animals with a flattened cylindrical body cross-section and rows of unstructured body appendages known as lobopods. Hallucigenia, is a tubular organism with of slender legs, each terminating with a pair of claws. Above each leg is a rigid conical spine. The head and tail end of the organism are difficult to identify. One end extends some distance beyond the legs and often droops down as if to reach the substrate. Recent research suggests that the extended element is an elongated head with two simple eyes, a mouth with radial teeth and pharyngeal teeth within the front of the gut. Similar to Hallucigenia, Collinsium was a small worm-like creature with spikes along its back and feeding tentacles near its head. Velvet worms move in a slow and gradual motion that makes them difficult for prey to notice. Their trunk is raised relatively high above the ground, and they walk with non-overlapping steps. The brains of Onychophora, though small, are very complex, consequently, the organisms are capable of rather sophisticated social interactions. Lobopodians are annulated, although the annulation may be difficult to discern, due to their close spacing and low relief. Their legs, technically called lobopods, are loosely conical in shape, tapering from the body to their clawed tips. In the musculature of lobopodians, the outermost muscles are longitudinal, contrary to the onychophers, which are the innermost muscles. Diania have ten pairs of legs and compared to the body these are quite robust and spiny. Because of this spiny appearance in the rocks the animal became known informally as the walking cactus. Ovatia vermis was filter feeders, and this is one of the characteristics that they are classified by. The other is the small head and thick neck, unlike in hallucigenids which had a bulbous head and a thin neck. The adult bonilia female produces a vivid green pigment in its skin, known as bonilin. This chemical, concentrated mostly in the proboscis, is highly toxic to other organisms, capable of paralyzing small animals. The annelids are a large phylum with over 22,000 extant species and have adapted to various ecosystems. Since annelids are soft-bodied, their fossils are air, some late Egyptian fossils may represent annelids, the oldest known fossil that is identified with confidence comes from early Cambrian. Squid worm organs are organized in a horseshoe-shaped appearance from the head to the back. 
Its mouth is located in the anterior front part of its body and it has no barrier protecting its pharynx. When a whale dies, its carcass falls to the seabed. Here it provides a feast for many deep sea creatures. Worms such as Osidax japonicus make use of the bones when only the skeleton remains. This tube worm can reach lengths of over 3 meters and grows very slowly, with individuals living to be over 250 years old. It forms biogenic habitat by creating large aggregations of hundreds to thousands of individuals. With sunlight not available directly as a form of energy, the tube worms rely on bacteria in their habitat to oxidize hydrogen sulfide, using dissolved oxygen in the water as an electron acceptor. This reaction provides the energy needed for chemosynthesis.